Volunteer Chief Tony Kelleher gets ready to go to his paid job. He removes his Kentland gear from the rig and stows it on the ready rack. He grabs his other gear and hits the road. DC firefighter Tony Kelleher stows his gear on engine four and checks the rig. Engine 4 arrives on scene at a box alarm. DC firefighters Ian O'Brien and Tony Kelleher launch out of the engine as they race up the stoop with a handle. Special Operations Chief Wayne Benson arrives on scene to evaluate the incident.
Truck 4 arrives on scene and quickly throws the ladder. Chief Benson checks with the home's owner, then enters the structure on the first floor where the fire has broken through. Engine 4 are in the basement of the structure where the fire originated. The crew continues to extinguish the dwindling flame. Small amounts of smoke ascend out of the basement window. A crew member breaks the security wire mesh that covers the basement window to create more ventilation. The fire is successfully extinguished. The crew begins to haul out. I became a firefighter is uh, it's something I've always wanted to do since I was a little kid. Um, it's what I grew up around. Uh, it's all I really knew what to do. Uh, I got to the academy um, in November of 2004. Uh, I was assigned Engine Company 4 here, where I've been the whole time um, since I got off probation. Uh, came here and I think I went to a fire my first shift within the first couple hours. And I uh, probably went to about 14 fires in the first month or so. The crew of Engine 4 wrapped their lines and stole their gear to go back into service. Morning at Engine 4, also known as the Hornet's Nest. One good thing about this fire station is that uh, we run a lot of diverse areas. You know, we're not just downtown or we're not uptown. We're not in just residential community. We're kind of like in the middle of everything. 
I think the, the most box alarms I ran in one day was you know, 14, and that was you know that was pretty crazy, uh, pretty pretty uh, physically uh, straining place. Um, we got a lot of buildings you got to run up eight nine floors. We got a lot of buildings that have standpipe systems in them, so you actually have to pull a pre-connected hose line from the engine. Uh, so there's a lot of different uh, you know tasks that you might have to perform here that you don't do in other parts of the city. Although the day started shortly upon arrival this morning, the crew continues their morning with the check of equipment and the apparatus. My name is Jose Sampson. Uh, basically, I became a firefighter. It was a job I really didn't have a, a lot of knowledge about. I was uh, asked if it was a job that I would like to do, and once I became involved in the department, it was a job that I learned to love, and it's like no other job. They wash the underbelly of the engine cab and check all the fluid. The crew responds to a box alarm. Uh, my name is Ian O'Byrne. I became a firefighter a long time ago when I was a teenager, actually. My father kind of inspired me. Um, it was a toss between being a police officer and or a fireman. I had an opportunity to become a, uh, a volunteer firefighter at a young age and became a volunteer when I was 16 years old. And uh, I've been doing it ever since. Afternoon. The crew stopped by their favorite DC landmark, the Chili Bowl, for lunch. How you doing? Good. Are you all right? Is this you too? Lunch is cut short. A call comes in. The crew responds to a hit and run accident. Tony checks with the victim as she sits in her car. The ambulance arrives on scene to further assist the victim.
Firefighters catch a catnap whenever they can. The crew of Indian 4 respond to a medical local. My name is Mike Basinger. I, came, I became a firefighter, basically I grew up around it. Uh, my father's a retired fireman from D.C. All my life as a uh, child growing up around fire, fire engines, fire trucks, it's just something I wanted to do. They arrive on scene. The victim is a two-year-old having a seizure. The ambulance arrives on scene for transportation to the medical center. Had a two-year-old child who uh, had several uh, allergies and was out in the sun all day and had a seizure and looks like she's going to come out of it. She was coming around before we left, so it's good. The crew of Engine 4 returns to service and to the station. Back at the station, Tony and Mike prepare dinner for the house. The crew responds to a box alarm. Uh, 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 